Good morning guys, it is me. Um, I just woke up and I'm currently like rushing to clean up my closet. My house is getting deep cleaned soon. That's Coco barking. So I need everything like tidied up and this weekend I trashed my closet, which I normally don't do. So anyways, this is an unedited day in my life vlog. I need to actually get ready and like brush my teeth and everything. I slept. I'm not kidding, guys. I went to bed. We got back from my sister's birthday thing probably at like 4, and I went to take a nap, and I slept through the night. My alarm went off for 7 a.m. this morning. So, I had quite the weekend. I was so tired. I like didn't sleep at all the night before, so needed to do that, but I'm currently just cleaning up, getting ready. It's Monday. I have to grocery shop. We're going to Sprouts today, which is exciting, and then... Get a bunch of stuff done so that's what is on the agenda today you guys can see the closet is uh not the best we're filming an unedited day in my life vlog michelle reed told me i should film one of these so here we are all right guys we are getting ready for the day you know when you like put moisturizer on and then you're just not thinking and then you start putting makeup on that was definitely not the plan also when you have makeup on and you don't have um like a lip color or something on but i'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on. I feel like I'm staying on so much. Um, yeah, so today's Monday. My house is getting cleaned today. I get my house like deep cleaned probably once, honestly, at this point, I would say like once a month, but it helps me so much. Like, I get so anxious with mess and stuff, and I'm constantly cleaning, like, literally non stop. But getting it actually clean just makes the biggest difference. So, especially with having dogs, but. Anyways, today is Monday. I was going to film this video yesterday, and Saturday night I was up all night, so that didn't happen, and I just slept, you know, 15, 16 hours. I'm going to put my hat on. This is kind of like a weekly prep video um, that we're filming today. So grocery shopping, I'm going to be cooking some new healthy recipes. Um, I have a lot of other things that I need to do, so we'll see... What happens? I always I'm like, how do I wear a hat? You know, and then you put like the hoops on, and then suddenly my hair looks so much shorter than it is normally. Um, I just, I simply don't know. So, anyways, today is like a getting my life together day, which desperately needs to happen. Clearly, I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is the best perfume ever. It just smells like so good. Also, I'm wearing. I need to put my actual Uggs on. My outfit is like the definition of a, what does it say, like girl fit, girl fit, like the gross outfit thing. I don't know, I can't even think about that right now. Here we are. Like I can't actually believe. These sweatpants are from Airy and they like don't fit well or anything. They're just the softest pants ever. So I love these and then I just have this like long sleeve gray top on. And like this is my Monday look. Like it's really honestly not okay. I have socks I need to throw, not throw away, what am I saying? Put in my camper. I have probably four or five loads of laundry that I need to do. Not even gonna bother with that yet. I have my hoops that I'm gonna put on. I'm sure eventually I'll put like a crew neck on. I couldn't find any great crew necks. So that's why we are here with today's video. Guys, if you really like these, I could do like a vlog week of unedited week of my life videos because obviously not editing. Oh, someone's calling me. Ooh. That boy's not, oh, whatever. Awesome. Last thing I will say, had an evolved keto cup. It was like a coconut butter, so it was like a chocolate, like a Reese's cup but with coconut in it. And all of their ingredients are like organic and healthy. It's like paleo, GMO, gluten-free, whatever. I don't know if it's all those things, but it's like up that alley. And it was so good. Dom's obsessed with the white chocolate stuff. So good. All right, Pops, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? You need to get groomed. That's another thing on my to-do list. You too. Just took the dogs out, but... I've been listening to this podcast. I know I've talked about it before, but it's something was wrong. I listened to the one about some like church thing first. I forget, but now I'm listening. I don't know like how to name these separate. I'm on episode 10 of it, but I think there's like 20. 
total, but it goes through this girl who was engaged to essentially like a psychopath. It's so interesting. I still have like, let's see, five more episodes. I want to finish it because I've been listening to it for a while. There's just a lot of episodes and I listen to so many podcasts, but it's a really good thing to listen to if you're not, if it's more of like a chill, casual podcast listen versus like you want to get something out of it, but it's really good. I know this sounds so weird, but this is my breakfast. I've been doing this like gut health thing and I've been having soups like a ton. So it's like organic vegetables, chicken, bone broth. Um, but today I start with like different recipes and stuff. So anyways, this is my breakfast. How exciting. Good. I literally slept like 16. Good thing to know just to have that because that's such a good like backup stable kind of like gig. No, it really isn't. It's like Dana, you're dropping something off. All right, guys, I put on a crew so I could let look. What am I trying to say? I put on a crew neck. So I could look less like whatever the word is that I can't pronounce. See, this is what happens when you can't edit. I feel like I'm messing up even more on whatever. So I just had a call with Carly who edits a bunch of my stuff and I'm like mentoring her. And then Dana stopped by to drop off some papers for my like um, healthy gut protocol thing. I have so many new recipes and I'm so excited to try. That's actually what I'm going grocery shopping for. Normally, Mondays would be like more work heavy, but I worked through the weekend actually, surprisingly. Um, so today is basically my Sunday. But anyways, I'm about to head off. By the way, these hats, there's more coming, um, come out so soon. Like by the time this video goes up, I think you probably have like a week or something. So follow me on Instagram and you'll know, but Here's my outfit. I'm about to go to Sprouts, listen to a podcast and grocery shop, which is a really good form of therapy. So we're off. Literally sitting in my car right now, picking what audio I'm gonna use for TikTok. Here we are at Sprouts. It's truly my favorite place in the entire world. Also, I was just thinking about this. And I don't know if it's because I like live at home, so I'm around a bunch of people that I like was like grew up with. But when did I get to the point in life where I'm planning out like the people who like work on my house and like other just like random people's Christmas gifts? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. One time, one time, one day you're 17 and you're going crazy, and the next you're planning out like your contractors, not my contractor, but like people who work on your house, Christmas gifts, and I don't know how that happened, but here we are. Anyways, I'm about to go to Sprouts. See, me and Sprouts, my favorite thing in the world. Also, I will say, after a crazy weekend, my skin, like I have like the biggest breakout right here. Um, it just is instant these days, like instant, it happens so quickly, like not my thing, you know? Very annoying. When I go to the grocery store, it takes me like 10 minutes to decide on the podcast that I'm going to listen to. Cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think it's actually going... Okay, I accidentally just stopped recording. I didn't edit that, just so you know. Cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think it's going to be a music and grocery store day. I'm sure I'll change my mind in there. I don't know. Does this get confidential as a new episode? Let's see. It's Monday. I need to like memorize these upload days, so I might listen. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Oh, yes, my Ugg minis, all day, every day. Beautiful outfit, you can't even see. Here we go. Oh, this is actually the best flower section or selection I've seen from them in a while. This is very exciting. I think I'm gonna do green. That looks good. 
maybe these. Honestly, the only thing that Sprouts has or that Trader Joe's has on Sprouts other than prices are the flower selection. Always my favorite kombucha. Like these are just so good. Two pounds of shrimp, guys. Okay, we're going to the bulk section, which I actually never get things in here, but it's so beautiful and I finally have a reason I need to try coconut. It's beautiful. It's just wow. Guys, I will say, shopping at Sprouts and also organically gets so expensive. I got a lot of food, to be fair. I'm trying out a ton of different recipes for like videos, so this wouldn't be like my normal like week of shopping. Also, I got a lot of it because I like making a ton and having leftovers. My total was 179. I made a TikTok that's like the girl was stunned or whatever, and it's when you go to sprouts because it like feels like therapy but then your sprouts bill is higher than your therapy bill like it's really something also i had to stock up on like broths and certain rices and things like that so like it was kind of like a almost like when you move to a new house and you get new groceries you know it was like from the scratch bare minimum whatever but guys i swear i'm just so tired like i normally can talk in um you know use english i can't even I am really out of it today. So I'm really sorry this is unedited because you guys just have to see it. But you know, sometimes you have days like that and that's just what happens. So I'm gonna put this cart away. If you guys grocery shop and you don't put your carts away. Oh, this is gonna hit the cart. Oops, definitely do that. Very good, it's just good to be a good citizen. Look at how easy this is. Does anyone else sit in their car for like 30 minutes once you park doesn't matter where you are i just i don't want to i don't want to move but i will literally sit here for like 30 minutes all the time and i have things to do like i actually have quite the to-do list and here i am sitting in my car so what's new all right i'm now putting away my groceries i have a lot i got so many things okay i have some dishes i need to put away and i'm giving you a little grocery haul so many onions so many garlic cloves, ginger, limes, more garlic. Um, I had to get just stuff again for so many recipes. I got a bunch of cauliflower rice. Here we are. Um, raw honey. I got a big one, so I won't have to like refill. Literally $20. Honey is really expensive. And this was bigger and it's like organic, whatever, but still. Um, I have some coconut milk. I have coconut oil, bone broth, and then lots of kombucha, which is really exciting. Um, okay, next thing I have, I got some apples that have fallen out of the little sprouts bag. Um, cilantro, my apples in here. Um, coconut yogurt, dates, more coconut yogurt. And I think I, I don't know if I should have the flowers. The flowers. So here we are. I'm gonna put all this away. Oh, I think I'm missing something. No, I'm not. I need to get bags, guys. I'm so sorry, honestly. I meant to bring them in today and I thought they were in my car and they're not in my car, they're in my pantry and it was too late. So I'm gonna move those over today so I remember. But I'm gonna put all this away and then I actually think my meal, my dinner tonight's gonna be crock pot, so I probably should start cooking soon. So, that's what's up. Why did I just say that's what's up? Goodbye. Guys, Dom's upstairs now, and I was like here working just about two minutes ago, and like out of nowhere, she's over there twerking, so. Look making at, a TikTok. Look at the video I just posted. Oh, let's go see it, guys. She doesn't even show me herself, I have to. I ha she just wants the views, you know? 
I get it. It's really honestly smart. Let's see. By the way, guys, I'm assuming you all watch TikTok, but who's your favorite TikToker? Dom, it's not popping up. Following, let's see. Are you sure it's up? Oh. Okay. Um, by the way, guys, I got meats too. I got shrimp and a bunch of bacon. I forgot to say that. You want that Red Bull up there so we can make our vodka Red Bulls later? What are you talking about? No, you know that Red Bull? You know what that Red Bull is from? I actually do know what that Red Bull From like is from. February. Yeah. Wow. I think that's really funny. That's actually hilarious. Guys, I'll tell you the story. There's a friend of ours, if you will. <laughs> he, he was coming over That's and weird. he like made a scene about like you'll never forget what was he? Hmm. You'll never forget. I don't know, something of like I just need to I don't even remember. He just kept bringing random things and hiding it in my house and I've always kept it and I've kept it for one of our other friends, which is another mutual friend, but anyways, funny guys. But so when I leave stuff, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna start cooking. Um in the crock pot. I have things in my eye. Oh no. Also, I had to re-upload the Texas video. So if you guys are watching this video right now and you already watched the Texas video, please go re-watch the Texas video and leave two comments and I will love you literally forever. It is like my favorite video I've ever done. So check it out. Dom, do you want to say something to my unedited vlog day in my life? We can't edit anything today. We can't? No. Okay. I just want to show you guys how today's going. I'm still in my PJs. It's fine. So light, three, two, thirty. Fitz wanted to say hey too. Oh yeah, I need to move to He's so obsessed with me right now. Um, yeah, I just, I think I just wanted to say to you guys, you know, go back and watch the, the Texas video because ow, that's how I'm gonna. You know, be able to sustain the life that I live. Also, if you're like a reality TV producer, we want to take a show. We will awesomeness TV, MTV, really anyone, anyone Snapchat. We're, we're just naming names. Watch that video and tell us that we don't deserve a show. No. I can give you more of a more of an act as well. I was just kind of low key in that video. Yeah, but. and I I can turn it up more. Oh yeah, that's one thing we can always do is turn it up more. Don't worry, guys. Oh. If you want to see me sell out, yeah, just give us a show. I mean, give us a show. I think it's necessary. Oh no! I am out of I'm out of space. I'm out of so much space. My life is in shambles. I slept for 16 hours last night. You did. I'm see. only getting less and less responsible as the days go on. Remember when I used to really have it together? We do. We do. And now. Because I'm not kidding, I went to bed at 7 a.m. on Saturday. I don't even know if it was 7. Whenever the sun came up, it was after that. Yeah, you went to bed early. Dom was out in the living room. We were at my sister's house. And my sister and her, they were sleeping with their shoes on. And my sister was like sleeping on top of them. It was honestly them. really sweet. It was. I would have stayed like that. I just needed to take my shoes off. Yeah, it was funny. So... Anyways, I'm putting all this away. I'm gonna get the crock pot out, which like is how you know it's fall. Doc, have you ever used a crock pot before? No. I think you would like it because it's pretty easy and you just let it sit there for hours. Like that's how it gets like to taste really good. But I'm making wings today. Mm-hmm. Like a healthy way. Yeah. So we'll see our healthier option. Oh, so we'll exciting. see. That's what's so exciting about this new stuff is that I have so many different kinds of food I can make that are so much like that just, you know. Yeah. Um, healthier options and are fun. And are fun. So yes. that's the plan. My eyes are dying. Also, I only I didn't drink any coffee last week besides that was like kind of unrelated. But besides, I had the espresso shot on Friday night, which also kept me up. Honestly, that espresso shot is what messed up my sleep schedule this weekend because I was up sat Friday night up till like four. And then I napped right before we went out on Saturday, and then I was up all night. But, anyways, um, I forgot what I was saying. The dogs are fighting back there. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I didn't have coffee all last week. So then I had an espresso shot at Honor Bar on Friday night, and it kept me up. And I think it's the espresso shot that, like, did that. That's Bully's Coco. He pulled the bed away. <laughs> it's so funny. 
She fights back though. No, she literally is the snack that smiles back for the fish. True. I'm making honey garlic chicken wings. So I have salt, but I didn't pull that out. Minced garlic, chicken wings, olive oil, and then we're doing a lot of honey. So we'll see how this goes, guys. I'll keep you posted. All right, so I have the honey, garlic, um, what else did it? Olive oil, salt. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay, so that's what I have. We're gonna add it to the chicken, which is in the crock pot. And then it actually says you can do it on high for three to four hours, which is what I'm gonna do. So hopefully this is enough. I might actually have to make more. I did do less chicken though than they even expected. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Right, this was quite literally the easiest thing I've ever done. Gonna turn it on. And then, I don't, why is this not turning on? That is not good. Wait, maybe, oh power. <laughs> All right, now we are hitting start. Don't worry. I got it covered. I'm also, I think I'm gonna do like dates and peanut butter. I used to make that as a snack and I was like obsessed with it in college. And for whatever reason, I just like keep forgetting about it now. So because I have dates right now, I think I'm gonna make some. Dom isn't a big date girl, but I'm like, how do you not like dates and peanut butter? That's actually just like inherently good. So we'll see, um, but it is like one of my favorite things. So this is just a really exciting day for me, everyone. I just put them in this container, dates with peanut butter. I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge for a few hours, but it, they're so good. And they honestly taste like Snicker bars. Like they're just so good. All right, so these flowers, like this is not what's gonna be here, but I'm keeping this in here until I get a different vase. Made this really easy. I'm gonna put this over there. I don't know where this one's going. I like can't put things on my coffee table anymore because Fitz like eats the flowers. Also, there's supposed to be a love sack coming for this corner. I don't know if it is still, I might get something else, but let me know what you guys think I should get. Um, I'm so hungry right now. All right, guys, I'm currently uploading the truth or drink with Margo while I'm pre-uploading it. So, that's what I'm doing. This unedited vlog thing, it's just not for me. Yeah. I mean, here we are. It's not like I edit that much, but still. It's still savage, though. Because what if I said <laughs> something like, no, I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm making a ton of gift guides, which by the way, are always accessible to you guys. I put it in the description below. Um, and everything's here, but I'm doing the Dolly Parton gift guide because a lot of you guys have been requesting that. But if you need wow. one, to figure out what you want for Christmas, and then two, to shop for someone else, I'm doing all of these. It's gonna just all be in a Google Doc. I got the idea from Mandy. Oh, Coco's barking. Messed up the wings, I don't wanna talk about it. Um, also, I really never mess up recipes, and that was like really simple. But of course I do it when I'm filming. So anyways, my house is finally clean. I need to do laundry, I'm just really tired. Tonight I wanna shower, self tan, cook, and that's pretty much it. I've been working on my computer forever and my eyes hurt and I've actually gotten a lot of stuff done for the gift guides, which is exciting. This is actually like so time consuming because this is, like I have so, so, so many guides. It's really a lot. And there's just more that I'm adding as you guys request them, so. Dom and I are fighting, so I thought that I could get this on camera. <gasps> I just, I, let, I leave Kenzie up to her own devices. Be, when it comes to her and finding love and everything, she's very, very particular and operates in a certain way that there's literally no use in No, Dom, I would like for you to be more vocal. No, I'm not going to be more vocal because I have witnessed from afar on a couple of occasions and I've just come to the realization that you have a system and- And the system is no good. Okay, and then when we, when I try and tell you otherwise, you 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 don't wanna hear it. No, this is what I'm saying. First off, now I do. I've changed my mind on that. Second, I, you and our other friend say this all the time. And honestly, it's wrong. I actually, no, because when I, then I sound like I'm overcompensating. I really don't want a relationship right now yeah but course. there have been times in my life before where i've said i want to be with someone right yeah. in this very moment that's not what i want i think six months minimum to a year maybe but i'm 24 yeah. i want to like go travel and, I'm, I'm not, and i don't want to not do I'm, things yeah. like i'm not saying that you don't want a relationship i'm also saying that like wanting a relationship isn't bad 
No, and I don't think it's bad at all, but I don't think it would be good for me right now. But you also, but like you're also acting like, like you're not, you never fully open yourself up to love. That is so not true. Did you say, Kenzie, I do not believe you would say such a thing. Kenzie, are I, you shitting me? You guys, uh, no. Now I'm going to expose No, 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 I was holding back, but now... I'm the camera might die soon, so if it cuts but, off, it's not time. But now your ass is going to hear it. Kenzie had 99 plus matches on hinges. Oh, that doesn't matter. And all... Honestly, you show me your hinge, and I'm like, these are good, nice guys. I you only love the boys that I love. None of them. The you messaged them. back none of them. And I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like, I literally can't hear it. That's why I have no mercy for you. Okay, but listen. I'm not, like, a dating app person. Like, it just isn't for me. But then, dude, what do we do every weekend? We hang out with this... With the same, same boys. Eight yeah. freaking boys that... But those are who I have fun with. I don't want to, like... Yeah, but even when we're at the bars and stuff, you don't even try to meet new people. <laughs> I meet more new people than you do. <laughs> no. Like you, but I'm just so happy to be with my friends. Okay, then you know what? It'd be different if I was actually trying to date and I'm not. But so I'm, I, here's how it goes. I'm telling you, with dating, I meet someone, I instantly am in love, and that's it. But that's the thing. You don't even meet new people. You know, well, that is not true. That is true. I met new people this weekend. Who? Trey and all of his friends. Because they don't live here. <laughs> no, they're also just my friends. Yeah. Like, you don't try and meet new people. You ignore them. You actually ignore guys you like is actually what happens. That is, like, not You fun. do. Only Coco for like, Coco time. Coco is literally hollering at me because she's like, it's true. No, like, genuinely, you act like they don't exist. When Kenzie, well, I know when Kenzie thinks someone's cute or she likes someone because she literally looks deadpan in the other direction. No, it's honestly, once I know that they like me I can tell and then I'm trying to like not make it a big deal because people get involved no and by people get involved I just don't say anything I know but now I would like you to say something but I know I'm just saying I think you need to step in a little bit sooner than you have in recent years if you think about that hey oh my gosh you guys oh are you okay it's got off sit or just sit okay and Coco, I just think that you should maybe, but listen, I just think that, I don't really know, I actually don't know what to tell you. I, but I'm telling you, but no, like, I'm an I, outside source. You're not an outside source, you're far from that, so. Let's I try am. Her. Hi. An outside source for the sake of I'm not you. Mm-hmm. I just mean, Kenzie, that if you wanted to be with someone, you literally could, and... If you, even if you well, did, I didn't want to be with someone. Okay, then don't, you're not going to be with someone. Yeah. And that's that. Thank you very much. And you're going to, it's going to stay like that. And happy Dusty Danya. From dust to dust and ashes to ashes. Shall you return? I don't know what to tell you. Pride is a bitch. I'll say it to you too. Guys, we actually did run out of storage. What I was saying though is part of me wants to be with someone who's like really busy, crazy, successful, travels all the time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then the other part of me is like every time I know one of those guys, they cheat on their girlfriends. So then I'm like, maybe I really do just need a business mambo. Maybe I need a normal Texas business mambo. Here's the thing. You could get a himbo. It exists. It happens. What is a himbo? Like, you know... Like a bimbo, but a himbo. Like a businessman like himbo. Like not too much go, not too many critical thoughts happening. Well, no, I think there's a lot of them that are actually like, in their No, I, I don't mean like they're dumb. I mean like, like life is... Like I would be settling? Not settling. I don't think himbos are bad. They're just not... A like, businessman bow. I don't know what a businessman bow is. I'm talking about like a... That's they, shocking they know, like, okay, just like a good old stable, yeah, great like Joe Schmo, yeah. but himbo, I the sense of like stability. you, you are in the driver's seat when it comes to things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why would he cheat on you? Like, he's just happy. He's just happy to be here. That you know, same with a bimbo. She's just happy to be here. Yeah. A himbo is just happy. You know those guys <laughs> that are just happy to be here. That's that's. What do you think about the other end, though? 
I think the other end's fine. I mean, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you kind of have to comb through. I think I if know you want that, that as a surprise I, to you. I, I think if you want that, you have to go older. Like, been, I do have to been, older. been messy, you know? I, I think this is going to come as a surprise to you, but, like, I would actually like... Like, in a couple, for it to, like, be about them for once. Like, I don't need to be the center of attention. Yeah. I, I mean, even for me, like, honestly, if I were to go to, say, a bar and some, jo- I mean, vanilla-ass mofo came up to me and was like, hello, who are you? And we started talking, we hit it off. I'm moving here. I'm, I'm packing my bags and moving here. I'm settling now. Like, I'm tired. I've lived. I've lived. You know what? I've lived I think full life. It is November, and I think it'd be good for us to start on our 2022 intentions. 2022 intentions. And I think that I will put falling in love on my on my list. Wow. That's huge. I, would I, love, I think when you fall in love, I'll have to fall in love because it's like, then who else do I have? That's what I worry about with one of our other friends. When he started dating, I was like, God, what are we going to do? Like, everyone's going to start dating, and it's just going to be, like, a domino effect. Yeah, because if you're out, those are not fun days. But, oh, my God, Coco looks so cute right now. Oh, I woke her up. Um, but I'm not going to ever be, like, I mean, I know when you get into a relationship, you, like, stop going out as much, whatever. I would rather be with someone who, like, wants to go out more. But, he, but I know, but here's the thing. If you had a boyfriend right now, he'd be here. Like he, Hopefully he would have a job right now. What's that? 445. Okay, he'd be on his way here. But I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm like with him every day. I'm like over that. Oh. Hold on. It's one of these two. I would, <laughs> I would like a twice a week. Mm, that's a lie. No, like weekends obviously are different, but I have my plans. I have weekly girl centers on Friday nights. I know. That's Friday night. I don't know. I just don't want to be like. Seven. Yeah, I'm not saying 24 7, but I'm just also saying, like, when you get a taste of that bay, like, you don't want to let it go. When you. I don't even know what to say. Well, <laughs> anyways, guys, I think for my 2022 intentions, I'll put falling in love. Notice how it doesn't say date, though. Do I just I'm going. I'm literally sick. going You're to maneuver. Sick. No, I'm going to figure it out. I'm not going to go on dates with people. Like, I have to meet you I and don't fall care. in love, and that's, that's it. That's stupid. Look at Courtney and Travis. They didn't have to go on dates. Okay, how look and now look how what who she went through though. Lord Disick, two kids later, and he still didn't even tie shit down. And so now, more than two kids, three, four. It doesn't matter. That's what I got out of that. I'm not saying I'm gonna go through. I, I'll just. I'm telling you, like, well, that's what people did in the old days. They would just meet out and about. Okay, and look at our divorce rates. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not saying your method doesn't work, but I'm also saying that just like <laughs> I'm also saying just like it's a new day. It's a new dawn. But like the people that I have been like absolutely obsessed with and have been like, I'm so glad that I dated them. I don't know if I would have swiped on a dating app. Yes, you would have. Or I wouldn't have probably replied. See, and that's what's so sick about you. There is literally nice guys that message you and you don't. Reply. But I would have never known. Like, you can't see, like, their personality, how funny they are, and, like, how good they're with some other things through a dating app. But you don't even try to get to know them. That's my frustration with you. <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, what makes me, like, want to rip out my braids, bro. It's, like, you don't even try. You automatically assume. It's an assumption for me. Like, when you assume, you're like, oh, no, there's just blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bro, that's cat. And, listen, I have to have, like, at least one mutual friend with someone, I've decided. There no, because of really bad experiences that I know people have had on Hinge recently. Okay. Or on dating apps, not Hinge specifically. Okay, but... And I also just want one thing. And also, I love my friends. Like, why can't they just be friends with my friends? Okay, but who's... Just, you didn't even... Oh, I can't. Because it's, it's you. You're the problem. You're the problem, Kenzie. And I'm here to it's tell really you... harsh. No, that's how, how she talks. No, 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 no. no. No, the same way that you hop in my shit, I'm hopping in your shit right now. Because you are the problem, dude. You're you're saying all this stuff, you're making all these assumptions, all these fairy tales up in your head about who says, he said, she said, this is what's gonna happen, and that's not even what's happening right now. You you literally made that all that shit up. 
Like you were like, they're not gonna be friends with my friends. They most likely they are gonna be friends with your friends because our friends are the easiest friends to get along with. We met a few of them. I I mean the girls. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just I just mean that uh, it's doable. You choose not to because you're stuck in your ways. Admit it. Just admit that you're stuck. In if your I way. was like, oh my god, I really want. If it was 2022, and I'm like, oh, I really. Want you you, I you would never allow yourself to just be like, I want to be with someone. That is actually so false. I, then I, go on I a date. That. Then go I've on already a date. done it this year. No, I'm tapped no, out. I'm no, tapped then out. Go on a date. I'm tapped yeah, out. Exactly. Exactly. My I've already done it. You no, know what? You have to I'm really No, go on a blind date. Go on I a blind date. Go on a blind date. date. I am literally <laughs> not giving you an exact <laughs> example <laughs> as to when I did that. See, this bitch is I did. I did. Come on. Kenzie, then go on a date. Then go on a date and prove me wrong. That's all you have to do. Well, now I'm not really interested in going on a date. See, but that's what you say. That is you know what? That's I, you know what I'm saying. My that method, is your lie. My method worked already. So it'll work. No, that is your lie, dude. What do you mean it worked? Where's his, where his ass is at? Where he's at? Okay, that's not the problem. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> that's not no, no, the main no, point no. with that. No, no, no. See, Kenzie, if you say, if you say, oh, it's not that... I don't want to go today. Oh, it's not this. It's not that. Like, oh, I don't care. So nonchalant, nonchalant. Then what's the big hiccup on going on a date? Because that's time that I could be spending either reading or with my friends. Bitch, you read a four thousand million fucking books, and you we've gone out weekend, 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 weekend. You can go out on a weekday tonight, an eight p.m. dinner, or uh, an hour and a half at Lila's wine bar, like. You, you're, see, you're a capper. I caught you. In your Maybe I'll just start dating in like a certain industry that I would like to date. No, with. because you wouldn't even do that. Yeah, I would. If it was this, if it okay, was something else, how, I would. Then how are you going to approach that? I'm going to start DMing. You mm, please you. Mm. I will. It's a lie. Get They're all, just go on a like date. Them. Just go on a date. Like, just, just go on one. Like, literally prove me wrong and go on one date with someone you've met on, just met, on an app. I'll have to get back to you on that one. See? I'm thinking about Okay, but I'm what's, thinking about what's, the, what's the hesitation? I just, like, don't really have an interest in it. You, it's, but why, like, it's just like, but you kind of do. But, okay, if you don't have an interest in what's holding you back, like, then it means nothing, right? Like, it's just a date. But because it means nothing, I just don't have an interest in going okay, on Okay, but then it's just a, for the sake of being like, I've gone on one, it was whatever, okay, cool, bye. Like, if someone really caught my eye and asked then maybe. But you don't even fucking reply to people but that I, you know, maybe, maybe I will reply. You know what I'm going to do? I, I'm going to reply right this second. Let me unpause my profile. No! Kenzie no, has no. people from four months ago. They're not going to respond No, to this is not that long ago because we got back on it a few weeks ago, the girls did. For a few weeks. Like hear that? Um, someone said you're the fluffiest dog I've ever seen. I probably I don't know. Mm. We did reply to this guy three months later. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're just inviting me to start chats. They're not even saying anything. So just say hi. Like, like you can, it's okay. You can talk. Just say hi. Yeah, just be like, hey. Or say something about their profile. Just said hi. Okay. Look at me go, guys. I literally can't look you. What do I say to you have the fluffiest dog I've ever seen? Like, thanks, he's pretty great. Can I see what these people look like? Off camera. Yeah, well, no one can see from my perspective. Honestly, I really need to go do like a nice skincare routine. I'm breaking out from our weekend out. Oh. Well, anyways, can I see now? Yeah, well, I have to go, everyone. I just really wanted to give you a real look 
in a day in the life of me and Dom. Like, you still want us to be your friends. Yeah, and if you, for everyone who says that you guys want us to be your friends so badly, I don't know if you do. You know? I mean, I don't know if you do. So we're off. Oh my God, that I have been listening to Red to prep myself for the past hour. The pups are here. My room is really clean. I just self tan, so I'm wearing the same sweatpants because I don't care if they get stained. I normally don't wear them in public. And then just a black tank top. I always try to wear like things that I don't care about after I tan, even though it, unless it's white, it normally washes out. I did a nice hair mask and like a leave-in oil. I don't know, like a leave-in treatment of some sort. I have my favorite UGG slippers on. I keep getting tagged in stories from you guys. Yes, I have them. I pre-ordered them in the brown color, so I'll link them below. I need to make dinner. Um, I can't believe the first time I've... Honestly, I don't know if I've ever like messed up a recipe to that extent, especially when it's like that easy. Um, you know, because I think I'm Martha Stewart. So, anyways, need to figure out dinner plans. It's 6 p.m. I have a goal, a lot of you guys know, to read 100 books in 2021. I have like 15 left, but I'm almost done with three books. Like two of them are nonfiction. So honestly, um, Dom's going to the movies tonight and I think I'm gonna try to finish at least two of them. So then it's off my off my list of things to do because I'm going to hit that goal. I've been working towards it all year and things are only gonna get crazier and busier. So even with the holidays, like yes, you have the holidays, you can chill, but also at the same time, like I'm traveling and you know, whatever. So anyways, this is my outfit. Big self tan girl. I use Saint Tropez. Um, the Express one, the Ashley Graham one's the best. The Slip Bomb at Summer Fridays is the best slip bomb you'll ever use. I keep this on my night side night stand or my night side table. I always have a water bottle full of water as well. Candle, Kindle. You get the ordeal. Fitz is just getting cozy. Coco as well. And we're gonna not serious. I'm bothered on. Look at how magical that plant needs to go. Like, when am I gonna throw it away? But look at how magical this is. Just walking downstairs, seeing all this. The rest of the decor isn't even, it's not even done yet. There's, there's a spider. And Kenzie's just so brave. Ooh, ooh she's getting close. <laughs> yeah! Wait, is it still there? Okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. You scared me. Stop. You're so fearless. Look at you. You know, I really am. Taylor Swift's fearless. You need help. Okay. Well, you don't have to make it all like that. Look at your abs. Oh, she be flexing on the ground. Dom, what's our fair trade off? You kill a spider, I take the dogs out. I would much rather kill spiders. Husband and wife. <laughs> Literally. Hey, so the tan Kenzie. is quickly developing. Can't wash it off till the morning. This one. Go get the car. Here we are. Oh. Bye, pups. Off to read I go. Why? It's really important that we go upstairs and cultivate my nighttime vibe. These things really matter to me, as you guys. Probably no. So we have my room. I guess Fitz got a sock. I literally have no idea where that came from at all. But here I have my bed. It's so cozy. I'm going to light a candle. I put on my Hatch Restore alarm clock. This thing is the best thing ever. Oh, it's not even plugged in. I always unplug it. It's still searching for nearby devices, but I'm going to light my marshmallow fireside candle. This candle, like honestly, Yes, I typically like more mature scents. Bath and Body Works Christmas just reminds me of like everything good in the world. And this just makes me feel like safe because this is the candle I grew up with. Um, I just love it. So anyways, I don't, this is not connecting now. I don't even feel like fixing it. But normally I put this light on and then I'll turn everything off in my room. This light will go off. Um, I'm not even going to film that because it makes my like camera settings look weird, but... Um, and there's like a little bit of like white noise and like waves that play and I read my book and then I go to bed So that is it for today's video. I'm actually just going to edit. I mean, no, I'm not gonna edit I'm just gonna read for the rest of the day But let me know if you guys like these unedited day in my life vlogs It was not the most eventful day, but I hope you guys enjoy love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon
拜。